Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 22 of We Happy Few and today we are going to drop into Sally's story and we start with getting milk for our child. But first I want to kind of go over um, something more that we learned the last episode so I don't know, I guess the first question is, who is the father of Gwen? I mean, Sally remarked, um, Sally made a remark that she hopes that Gwen has, um, his fa has her father's brain, but not his heart. And in her diary, I don't know, she also refers to Dr. Verloc as a heartless guy, so could it be that Gwen is the daughter of Sally and Dr. Verloc? We know from Is this before, the post box I did ask her to blow up? I really should never have posted that letter. Um We know that Sally was at least flirting with him or something. I mean, she signed his letters with XOXO and she addressed him as darling and everything, so who knows? Maybe. Also, yeah, I have mixed feelings. I mean, I haven't um made it that clear before that i don't know i guess it came through that i don't have a lot of sympathy for sally after we got to know her as arthur but i guess hmm i don't know i just i'm just waiting to to I don't know, step away immediately. fully judge her. Oh no! Step away Why was I not allowed to go here? Oops! Oh wow, we have the same problems as Sally as well. I didn't know that. I thought that. Hmm. I thought that we were allowed everywhere here. So. Okay, but let's just hide away for some time. Ah, good old times with Arthur, huh? Oh, how can we get here? So yeah. Also, I don't really know. Is this is Sally meant to be as a likable character by the developers? Because I don't know, you you end off with Arthur in this huge argument, and Arthur leaves. Arthur leaves her behind. Although now it makes sense that she couldn't just go with him because she couldn't take Gwen out during the day. Because, yeah, obviously, uh, I suppose. She is supposedly the only child in town. Please have ten milk, Lionel. Oh, Please. so that's it. That's where we need to go. Okay. And I don't know. I'm not so. After everything we learned about Sally from Arthur, I don't know. She doesn't come off as the most likable person. Although maybe that's just my feeling. Maybe I just. Yeah, although what I got, what I can say is that I don't really like her character. I don't know. I just always fear of I don't know judging her, judging her definitely um, that I will regret it later when some dramatic story is revealed about her. So I'm just waiting on this. I just at the moment, yeah. I still I don't like her a lot. I love the sound of her voice though, but I don't really like her character. I, I guess that's in general for people who call themselves complicated and use it as a reason and want people to understand it because they are complicated as, yeah, the reason for a lot of things. 
I don't know. So let's go to Lionel. What can I do for you today? Sally Boyle! I'm afraid I haven't got anything new or fashionable for a monk girl like yourself. Everything I've got is as old as me. <laughs> oh, Lionel. You've never felt old to me. I need some tin milk for something I'm brewing. Oh, well, uh, the, 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 the trade from over the bridge, well, all, all we seem to have at the moment is a few tins of leftovers from the war, and they're practically collector's items. Pricey. Oh, I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. Is there anything we could trade? Not unless you're willing to go over to the garden district. <laughs> Why not? A girl like you? Some of the wastrels out there. there. There's rumors of cannibals, devil worshippers, cue jumpers. It's sweet that you're looking out for me. Well, some time ago, Uncle Jack made a record album. Uncle Jack Sings. And I got a collector who's dying to have it. Now, I know there's a bunch of Uncle Jack fans who have a sort of compound on eel pie. If anyone's got the album, it's them. Bring me that, and I'll give you all the tin milk I have. All right. I'll see what I can find. Oh, well. Okay. Tutorial. You're petite. You're not terrific at fighting or at surviving fights, but you don't have to avoid confrontations because you're a genius chemist. Your powerful experimental drugs make you a match for any opponent. You already know some of the recipes, but you must find the most advanced one in encounters or via skills. Unfortunately, you are rubbish at anything mechanical, including sewing. You will need to buy your supplies and weapons from shopkeepers and your outfits from Mrs. Pankhurst. Fortunately, your old boss, Stuart the chemist, will pay a lot of money for your concoctions, so we're enough for everybody. Uncle Jack Records? Jesus Christ. Gwen's life is hanging on Uncle Jack Records. Not that Lionel knows that, thank God. Damn it. I better go home and get my garden district drank. Can't walk around there in the latest Davy Hackney. They get so resentful. That's true. I hope that you've got some... Of course, Sally has a kit for everything, it seems, a garden district kit. Hmm. That's a fancy word, that's a fancy way of calling your torn rags. So okay, apparently a Sally the challenges that we cannot fight that good. I don't want to fight anyway. I just want to sneak around or something and I don't know if we, if we wear those torn rags it's gonna be kind of safe anyway so where did I live we must be somewhere here right oh it was here okay I can't remember I used to run away from my secret tree to cry and Arthur would come and sit with me. Happiest time of my life, I suppose, in retrospect. Hmm. I don't know. I'm interested in how Sally. Uh, I don't know. I hope that we find some memories from Sally, too. Oh, this is the front door. Sally's. Oh, Nick. Um, mm, Nick Lightbearer said something about the travel agency, so. That's what Sally's store is called. I can't read the first thing, but. Huh. Okay. So, this is it. Oh, I received a cricket bat after all. So, after I'm here. And after we have to look after Gwen sometimes and because of crushing guilt. Let's say hello. Oh, I can't even hold her now. I'm sorry. Well, okay. So we have to handle the crushing guilt later, I guess. 
So, um, what are we gonna do? How do we get there even? We don't have any fast travel, right? No, we don't. There's some shelter. I don't even really know where to go now because in which direction do we have to go? Where is the next bridge? I'm just trying to remember. <sighs> but I guess to go to St. George's we had to first go to Maidenholm, right? So maybe this is Maidenholm and then this is Eel Pie? I don't know. Oh well. Um So this is kind of annoying because you also had have this sort of time limit. Okay, I, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna follow the waypoint. But... Oh. Button. Oh, we have some skill points to spend too. So, what are Sally's skills? Charmer. Greetings make people even less suspicious. Slower carrying corpses cannot wield heavy weapons at all. Why would anyone pick Oh, I guess this is everything. Everything with this is active. Rubbish at anything mechanical. Never learned to sue. Arthur did, but Sally didn't. Oh well. Chemically brilliant. So, you can sprint faster and longer. You get more benefits from being well fed, hydrated or rested. Plants yield more resources. That sounds good. So, quietly smother people unconscious in their beds? I don't know. We don't encounter so many sleeping people in beds, I guess. Talking to people makes them trust you more. That's the same that Arthur can do. Hmm. In her case, that would be um, more useful than in Arthur's case, I guess. And so, what's this? Look like you belong there even when you don't. Hide in plain sight. Sleep in owned beds without upsetting anyone. Great the chance of breaking line of sight when escaping enemies. That sounds good, too. I think I'm gonna start with this. It's five and we have nine. What's this? Deal double damage when health is critical. Also interesting, but... After we are a chemist, I guess we will also need some plants, maybe. So maybe this will be a good use. Also, if we die easily, powder, then maybe it's good that uh, maybe we can craft more healing bombs to save ourselves. So, oh, this is... This is Nick Lightbearer's house, right? No. Yes, it is. This is Nick Lightbearer's house, so the bridge isn't far away. It is so strange to just to have to walk here because as Arthur we could have sprinted for so long now no one cared and now everyone cares again <laughs> so yeah that's the bridge guess this is where we need to go Ah, more roses. That's also good. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's the police station. Am I going in the wrong direction? Because Nick Lightbearer's home was... Nick Lightbearer's home was very close to the bridge. Oof. Okay, there's no going through there. Oh well, okay, I'm just gonna... Okay, let's just stick with... Following. Why is there everything blocked? Is this new? So, we don't have a knockout syringe. That's what we need to... 
cap for a takedown. We don't have anything to disarm anything. So, uh, wrong button again. So, I just want to know what can what can we craft? Hallucinex. Okay. Oh well, so there's a lot of chemicals that Sally can brew. But... I'm a little bit at a loss here. Because I guess we don't have joy, do we? Only have sunshine. Is sun although is sunshine the drug that makes you look like Android? So what's this? Empty atomizer. One spray and they'll be yours, filled with something nice. Used to deliver drugs via close range aerosol. Hmm. Oh, so this is the joy. This is the uh, the joy imitation. Okay. Oh well. I'm a little bit at a loss here. We've been here for so long. I think we spent the longest time on Maidenholm. At least that's what I think it is. Maidenholm, right? Oh, I would love to sprint here. Also, what's kind of sad is that there is no uh, check access hatch for Sally's home. So we would have to go a long way just to get back home. Ah, that's it. Very good. We made it. We made it. So, yeah. I guess we will soon experience... We will soon experience what it feels like to be guilty, to feel guilty of leaving your child alone. One of these days, Gwen, I'm going to teach you all about chemical interactions. They're so much more reliable than boys. Sally uses an atomizer to spray chemicals at her enemies. You can craft Hallucinex in the chemical section of the crafting menu. Then you can craft the Hallucinex atomizer in the weapons section of the crafting menu. Equip the Hallucinex atomizer as a weapon and press left mouse to create clouds of drugs that will make other people think obsessively about dogs with hilarious and violent results. You will be able to unlock other atomizer recipes throughout the game. Okay. So, but first of all, keep pressing the wrong button. First of all, we need to change. So, this is our weapon or not? No, it's not. Can we just equip this? Is this something? No. Okay. So, we are in a garden district. We should be able to run now. So, what is this here? Feels like I've never been here before. Mums are supposed to tell you not to be afraid. But you should be. He's a gift. You can save your... So, okay, I'm just trying to not wander around too much because we have a child to feed. What's this? Well, that wasn't the best example. 
Yam worshippers only. Endless suffering awaits those who would disrespect the yam. Like the fruit, the vegetable? Okay, we can pass here. Huh. Looks like an interesting cult. So... So I wonder, will we meet Ollie as Sally as well? Oh, okay, so here we are at the Uncle Jack Fanatics. This is so weird. Just gonna pick more flowers because maybe it's a good idea to craft some healing bomb because you never know what's going to happen next. With this, with these guys. Oh well, that paid off really good to pick this perk with the, with the picking berries. Now we have a lot to heal up on. Okay. Hello. Uncle Jack Hello. called. Are you a friend of Uncle Jack? Of course. Who isn't? You'd be surprised. Some people seem to think that because we're out here in the garden district, we have to abandon all pretense of civilization. We can't take joy, but that doesn't mean we can't see the world the way Uncle Jack does, right? It's just a question of concentration. Oh, yes. In fact, Uncle Jack has heard of you. He's heard of us? You oh, can't be serious. Is he going to talk to us on the TV? Oh, but we never get the new programs out here. What did he say? How do you know? Why didn't you ask him? He's coming to visit. He wants to do a live broadcast from here. He's coming here? But the place is a mess. We have to clean up. Uncle Jack's coming! Uncle Jack's coming! <laughs> spirit! Let's show Uncle Jack just how much we love him. What are you doing here? Oh, he fainted because Uncle Jack's coming. Go to bed with Jack every night at 6. How early are they going to bed? So... Uncle Jack sings. That's it. No one's watching. Bingo. And... What's next? Where's the next... Hey! I'm a normal person. I'm just helping you. Oh no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey! What? Why is everyone freaking out all of a sudden? I just want to steal something from you! I don't know where it is. Oh. Oh, really? Gwen needs you. The burden of motherhood weighs on you more and more heavily. Don't you think you should drop everything and go take care of her? Yeah, I would like to, but I... have to... Ow, ow, ow. No, no. You can't think of hurting a lady with an axe. Come on. What kind of people are you? No, great. Ooh. Ouch! Okay. Oops. I think I'm going to die. There's the one that's done it. Done what? Oh well. I would just. I just want to steal this one record that you have. Come on. No, there's nothing here. No, 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 no. Oh god. Ouch! You're dying from your wounds. You need to heal yourself. Yeah, I get it. <sighs> Jesus, people. I don't understand what ticked them off in the first place. I didn't really do anything and no one saw me stealing. 
Are you stuck now? Ooh. Ouch! Come on! Okay. Ha! You locked yourself out. Yeah, I know my guild is growing and everything, but each passing moment you burn the field grows heavier. How much more can you bear? Yeah, I know. I'm just. Wait a second. So they just left? Okay. And I'll just leave. Bye. Okay, we did it. So I guess this quest. Was meant to. I wonder if can make some sort of automatic baby feeder for me. Then I wouldn't have to run back home as often to feed Gwen. Yeah, that would be nice. Sounds a bit hard-hearted, doesn't it, Gwen? But Mummy's trying to save our lives. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So I guess this mission was meant to trigger this whole guilt thing. Although I don't know what. What does it do to us? Does it make us go insane or something? I don't know. Maybe we can run faster. So, we did it. Still... I don't know, these wastrels, they seem to freak out at random moments. I don't know, I... I don't know why they got suspicious of me all of a sudden, just because, maybe, well, maybe it was because I ran around their houses or something. I was trying to help them clean up. No one asks me, they're just attacking me with axes. It's not the nice way of doing things. So... But I guess with Sally's act, with Where Sally's the part, Where are the Russians? there's not really so much um, emphasis on maybe side quests or something because I don't know, Sally doesn't have the time for that. And that's what I would think. But I wonder what the, what the whole story is here now, because it seems like Sally also has a plan. I would like to know what it is. I don't know. I would like to know what what happens to Wellington Wells, because I don't know. It seems like it's on the verge to finding a new solution. Okay, so, and um, so the permanent solution, I mean, and I wonder if we can stop this. Okay, so we have to go through this detector. Hmm, I think I'm gonna try the sunshine thing. I mean, does this work on those detectors? Let's find it out. Yeah, it does. Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? Whoa. You're in tip top shape, aren't you? Yeah, we're so pleased you survived the garden district. Toodaloo. Whoa, that was scary. Toodaloo, indeed. Um, okay. So let's go back to Lionel. Oof. Well, so we just made a trip to the garden district. It would be cool if, if Sally would meet Ollie on the way too, but I don't know if we have a lot of business left in the garden district. Oh no. Did I take the wrong turn again? 
Oof. And can we craft sunshine? Oh, wrong button again. Can we craft sunshine that easily? I don't know. Sunshine. Is it easy to craft? It's gonna need bleach. Rowan berry, that's good that we picked it. An empty pill bottle and flower bag. Uh, that doesn't sound too easy to craft, so I guess I'll need to find a way around. I think I said it before, but I really hope that we have some memories of, of Sally as well. So maybe we can find some things out. First of all, yeah, of course about Gwen, but... I don't know, maybe also of Sally's childhood. Although maybe there isn't too much to say. I mean, she and Arthur... I think they were friends, but... Well, then something happened. With Sally and her father. I wonder if there's a real reason for it, or... If there's a, a not a real reason, but if there's a deeper reason for it that she can't tell Arthur or something. Huh. I don't know. This is very it's a very complicated story. But I guess the whole hmm I guess the whole narrative of the game now that I think about it, is maybe about mistakes that you can't change anymore, or mistakes that will haunt you the rest of your life, maybe. I mean, it's the same with Arthur. It's, it's, I don't know, it's very unlikely that he will ever find Percy again. He, we don't even know if Percy is still alive, and it's not. Arthur's the only one who didn't expect me to be who he wanted. And, yeah, it's it's sort of because of Arthur, because he was supposed to go instead of Percy. And then he, he tricked Percy, kind of. No, he didn't trick Percy. He, he just... He just left Percy to die, actually. And I don't know, it's... Yeah. He's a kid. Oh, this is where we met Arthur. <laughs> oh, this is exactly besides Lionel's shop. So, yeah. So what I'm trying to say is that, yeah, Arthur made a mistake as a kid that he probably will never be able to um, repay again, or I don't know. It's a mistake that he will now have to, have to live with forever. And maybe it's the same with Sally. Maybe she regrets her actions very much because what she did to Arthur and what it brought her in life as well, maybe. So I don't know, maybe this is the whole narrative of the game, that all those people... I mean, yeah, so far it's Sally and Arthur, but who knows, maybe we will see someone else as well. I don't know how many acts this has. So... It's about mistakes that can't be done right again. There's no retribution for it. Well, it's all very deep, but also I'm happy. I, I appreciate this game very much that it doesn't um, force a happy end. That it's like... That it shows a story that's where you can't do anything... Where you can't make it better. Anything because it's years ago and you forced yourself to forget and now you wanted to remember and now you got it <laughs> so oh I'm, uh, I'm sorry okay I'm going What's your also Gwen is waiting hello Sally Boyle I hope you find your uncle Jack record my boy has been pestering me I have indeed you're a brillo! Milk you shall have! Lionel, you're sort of handy, aren't you? Well, I do like to tinker. You'd be amazed at the state of some of these things when they come into the shop. Can't sell them if I can't fix them. I have some designs for some apparatuses. 
some sort of uh, water feeder for, for birds? Oh, heavens no. I can't stand the crows. It's for my flowers. Mustn't overwater, but I keep forgetting to water at all. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, well, let me see what I got in the back there. I, I, I bet I can find all the pieces sooner or later. <laughs> they, they, they never show up right away, but they always show up sooner or later. Uh, check back in a bit. So what is what is he going to build for Gwen? Like like a hamster bottle? Um. So we need to go back home. Where's home? Oh no! No, I lost my home. Wait. It's somewhere here, right? No, oh, it's here. Oof! It's hard to orient around here. Okay, we're home again. So it's kind of interesting that for Sally, there's not a doctor creeping around here in the backyard. Okay. Well, it's good that we don't have neighbors, it seems. So... Oh, wait. Baby milk. I think that's something we could craft. What does what else does it need? Pure water. Okay. We have that. Okay. Now we can craft this. Gwen's got something to eat, at least. Here okay. we go, darling. Baby milk. You won't believe what Mummy had to do to get this for you. Well, I'll never tell you, frankly. What a relief. You can now go back to your adventures with the light heart. Now? Okay. Well, it's starting to get stressful again. So... Okay, well, let's just answer the door. It's a long way. Oh no. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. The ledge is, uh, wondering if you've got any blackberry ready for him. Oh, I'm working on it. In a day or two, I hope. The ledge is getting a mite twitchy, to tell you the truth. I must ask you to uh, accompany me to the station, so you can explain yourself to them precisely. Oh no. That sounds bad. I don't understand the worry. Haven't I always provided you with Blackberry? I just had a little hiccup in the lab. I'd be working on it right now, but apparently you lads are lonely. That ain't quite true though, Mum, is it? You've been seen all over town doing all sorts of things. We don't imagine that Lionel Kashir is much of a source of pharmaceutical ingredients. Oh, but there, you'd be wrong, Constable. See, I had to replace some bits of lab equipment. And you've been roaming around the Golden District doing Lord knows what. Yes, well, I, um... Uh, Blackberry's made with herbal extracts. Why do you think it's called Blackberry? And the Victorial Memorial Camp? Two visits in the last week? I suppose them visits was for our benefit as well. Not at all. I was visiting the General. He also gets quite cross when I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, uh, so he... Uh, well, yes, yes, of course he would. Uh, right. Well, we can hardly expect Miss Boyle to ignore the general now, can we, lads? Ha! Uh, uh, of course he would. Nonetheless, Miss Boyle, the lads have developed an appetite for your fine cooking, as it were. If they go hungry, chaos will ensue. 
we must insist that you devote your full and urgent attention to feeding them. Or what? Or we shall be compelled, willing or no, to provide your assistance, willing or no, to Dr. Verloc. And that won't be cheery for either of us. I guess I can't blame them for being antsy. It's not fun going off Blackberry. And if they go back on regular joy, they'll get the cramps and they won't even remember why. Thank God I'm almost done with this new batch. Okay. Well, that was intimidating. So, yeah. Like we found out before, Sally is the contributor of Blackberry Joys, the more natural alternative to Joy that's going bad, it seems. So I'm just wondering, is, is all the Joy in the city left gone bad? So that she has to supply the police with Blackberry Joy so they don't turn crazy? I guess so. Either way, this sounds a little bit dangerous. Especially with the secret hiding up upstairs. But... I suppose Sally doesn't really have much of a choice, though. Hmm. Oh well. Well, then I guess we gotta work. Jesus, it smells like burning. Oh no. Chemicals, oh shit. Oh no. Where's the fire extinguisher? Oh my god. Christ almighty. Um, how exactly? Jesus, no. Oh wait, I can go around? Yes. Well, it looks like someone is sabotaging Sally. I think it's someone. I think that someone is trying to sabotage Sally. Clearly. So, what do we have here? Okay. First things first, how bad is the damage to the lab? The triode and the crystallizer's broken. Ugh. Why do I get an N7 vacuum tube? Oh, God. My old chemistry box. It must be still in my old house. I was really hoping I'd never have to go back there. Oh well. Another trip down memory lane for Sally, I guess. So, use better chemistry set. What can we do here? Nothing, because we don't have a lot of ingredients. So... Okay. Um... Well, so where exactly is this Boyle residence? Ah, oh, it's in a garden district as well. I don't know, did I just miss something? Did I miss a possible shelter option? Or do we really have to walk all this way again? That would be really annoying. I thought Sally was, I don't know, a scientist. Can't she like fast travel or something? Sweet dreams. I wish you could dream about the countryside. When we were small, my sisters and I loved spending holidays at my grandmother's. I didn't realize it was so mum could spend a few days without having to worry about keeping everyone safe and alive. It does something to your head, being a mum. But you just go to sleep. 
<sighs> okay, so I guess next episode we will have to travel to the Boyle residence. Although I'm thinking that maybe we should go to sleep. Because it will be even more pain to go now. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna take a nap and we're going to travel to the Boyle residence in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.